everyone. So good to be with you today. And I'm so glad you're joining me for a wonderful holiday story time. I so wish we could be in person doing it like we always do at Jefferson Library. But this year's a little different, isn't it? And you have to stay home. And of course, Santa and I, we are so busy here at the North Pole. We can't really make it down this year either. So I'm so glad that I can do this for you this way. And we can share stories together just like we always do at Christmas time. I know you've all been very good and you've been trying your best. And you know that's what Santa and I like to hear, that you've been doing your best to be as good and nice and kind as possible. That's the most important thing, isn't it? To show kindness and love every day. And that will always get you on the good list, won't it? Oh, well, you know, things are busy here. We're getting everything ready for Christmas. We are pack wrapping packages, making toys. Oh, I have elves in the kitchen baking cookies, making candy canes, and we have the we have the elves who are taking care of the reindeer. I know that you always like to hear about the reindeer, don't you? Well, the reindeer are in school right now. Are you in school right now too? It's hard probably not doing school from home, perhaps, some of you. And we have to try extra hard, don't we? The reindeer are working so hard in school right now. You know, Santa always likes to get his team together. Let me get my book about the reindeer for you. Santa's reindeer. They're very special, you know. Well, you know, they're wild creatures and Santa goes out and looks for them in the forest out in the wild trees. He calls to them and says, come, come, be part of my team. Oh, and they do, they come and they listen. And you know, some of them want to be on the team, and be part of the, the magic of Christmas Eve and delivering all the toys. And some of them are a little young and not quite ready. And that's okay too. But the ones who are ready, come to our reindeer school and look at that. They stay in beautiful stables and we feed them wonderful food and we keep them warm and we brush their hair. And oh, you can see the elves there are taking care of them. And then of course, oh, we give them names. Oh, and you know, I wonder, can any of you name the reindeer? Let's say it together maybe. Santa says, oh, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. And then, of course, you know, there's always Rudolph. When it's snowy and dark and foggy and Santa needs some extra light. And we have some new reindeer this year, so don't let me forget to tell you their names, all right? And when they go to school, oh my, we teach them so many wonderful things. We teach them how to climb up roofs, how to pull heavy things, how to balance, how to climb up to high places and not be afraid. Mm, the rooftops are very high. Sometimes some reindeer get a little nervous. And oh, when we want to practice, we practice balancing on snowballs. And then, oh, then it's time to learn to fly, isn't it? And that's when the reindeer learn how to pull the sleigh all together. Going straight, going left when Santa says go left, going right when Santa says go right. And it takes very much concentration for them to all work together. And then on the last day of school, Santa has graduation day. Oh, and the reindeer who get to be on the team are so excited. And the ones who do get very special bells and they put them around their necks. 
sleigh bells like these. magical sound, isn't it? And when you hear that sound on your rooftop, well then you'll know that Santa's reindeer are there waiting for him while he goes down your chimney. Oh my goodness, you know, we didn't always have the reindeer, did we? Uh, I don't know if I've told you this story before, but a long time ago, when Santa decided to start delivering toys, but he was very young and he was very strong and he used to deliver the toys on foot. That's right, we didn't use reindeer. Let me show you. This is a wonderful storybook. I love to share it. It's called The Reindeer Christmas. And let me show you a picture of Santa. There he is on foot with his favorite elf, Elwin. Oh my, he has a little sack on his back and they are delivering the toys. That's how he always used to do it. On foot. Of course, that was long before all the children knew about him and started writing letters asking for toys. It got to be a lot, but in the beginning it wasn't that much. Well, one year, he came home from delivering the toys and oh, he sat in his big chair and he was so very tired. I brought him his hot cocoa, but he didn't even drink it. I said, dear, what's the matter? He said, I'm so tired. My feet hurt and my back hurts and I don't think I can deliver all these toys anymore. Oh. He said he wanted to quit. Well, the elves and I were very upset. We didn't want him to quit. We knew how happy he makes all of you children. And Elwyn, his very favorite elf, said, Please, Santa, let us try and think of something. Well, you know the elves are very, very smart they started to get some ideas. How could they help Santa deliver the toys? Look at them all out playing in the snow at the North Pole. It's quite beautiful and cold and snowy there. And well, Elwyn said, I think I have an idea. And they went into the workshop and they started to plan something special. It was a very big secret. wouldn't let Santa or I in to see what they were building. Top secret, said the elves. You just have to wait and see. I do like surprises though, don't you? Well, come spring, they showed us what they had made for him. It was the very first Christmas sleigh. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Santa just loved it. He said, oh, it's so beautiful and big. And I could fit all the toys in there, but my goodness, it looks very heavy. I don't know if I can pull that myself. The elves laughed. He said, Santa, we don't want you to pull it. This sleigh is a magic sleigh and any animal you want to pull this sleigh will be able to fly. Oh, boys and girls, can you imagine any animal? Let's think for a minute. What's your favorite animal? Oh, someone said horse, someone said giraffe. Do you know what my favorite animal is? My favorite animal is a zebra. And do you know what Santa's favorite animal is? No, not reindeer. Polar bears. He just loves them. Well, I said, Santa, you can't always pick. 
And the elf said, neither one of you get to pick. We are going to advertise and find the right animal the right way. And that is what they did. They put up a sign so all the animals could see it. Wanted someone to pull my sleigh on Christmas Eve. Great reward, see Santa at the North Pole. And look at all the animals who wanted to pull the sleigh. My goodness, there's the polar bear. And there's my favorite, the zebra. Oh my goodness, well, how about this turtle here? That would be quite slow, wouldn't it? Well, they all started coming. The first one who came all the way to see was an elephant, an elephant named Murray. And he was so sweet. Santa said, okay, Murray, you can try. And off he went. He was a smooth, good flyer and very graceful on the landing. But oh, within a few minutes, he fell right through the roof. Too heavy, said Santa. So sorry, Murray. You're not the right animal, I think. Well, more came. Oh my goodness. Crocodiles came. Yes, a great fellow with a big smile named Marvin. And he brought some friends with him. But my goodness, the elves were very afraid. And Santa said, oh, I don't think that will work. No, we don't want any animals that will scare the children. Thanks so much for coming, but you're not the right animal. Well, we waited and more animals came. Wait till you see these. Oh, I love them so. They were husky dogs. Yes, they were very used to pulling sleds on the ground. And Santa and I thought they were going to be perfect. They had a great leader whose name was Rex and they were good at getting in line and they knew left and right and up they went very nicely. But oh, oh my goodness, my dears. When they got up so high and looked down, they were so very afraid. They didn't like high places. And they all jumped in the sleigh with Santa and they had a little crash. Thank goodness no one got hurt. But that wasn't going to work for us, was it? We needed an animal who wasn't afraid of high places. Well, the summer wore on and other animals came. Kangaroos, oh, very bumpy. Pigs. Santa said, we'll never get it done. They always want to stop and eat. And you know, Christmas was coming again and Santa was worried. He still hadn't found the right animal. So we didn't know what we were going to do. One night, quite close to Christmas, there was a very big snowstorm at the North Pole. And we heard a knock at the door. And it was this fellow right here the leader of the reindeer. His name was Donner. And he said, Santa, you're so kind. We wonder if you could help us. One of our friends has slipped and fallen down a great cliff and she is hurt. We can't get to her. Oh, Santa said, of course I could help you. I have this, I have this new sleigh. Um, we could use it like an ambulance. And that is exactly what they did. They hitched up, flew down into that valley where she had fallen. And they put her in the back of the sleigh right here. Her name was Dancer. She had a broken leg, but she's fine now. Well, the reindeer were very grateful and they came back the next day to see us, to say thank you. And they said, thank you so much, Santa, for helping us rescue our friend. 
we would like to do something kind for you. We know you've been looking for an animals to pull your sleigh, and we'd like to volunteer. Oh, reindeer pull the sleigh? Hmm, I can't think of any animal who would be better, said Santa. And so it was decided. That was the very first reindeer Christmas. And that began a magic journey that has lasted for hundreds of years. And I'm happy to tell you, will always continue. The end. I do so love that book, don't you boys and girls? And well, the reindeer are getting ready again. We have three new ones. Santa gets to name one, I get to name one, and the elves get to name one. Santa likes to pick a beautiful little girl reindeer always. She has golden hair. He calls her Moonbeam. I like to pick a boy, usually a feisty one. I found one who can kick his heels up very high. I'm calling him Firecracker. <laughs> and the elves, well, the elves, they always pick a sweet little reindeer. I said, what are you going to name him? They said, oh, Mrs. Claus, he's so cute. They're gonna name him Sam. <laughs> I think that's a good name for a reindeer, don't you? Sam. Well, boys and girls, now you know all about the new team. And don't you worry, they'll be coming on Christmas Eve and you can listen for the sound of the sleigh bells. You'll hear them in your sweet dreams when Santa comes to see you. Remember, keep being as good as you can, always trying to be kind and helpful and thoughtful and using kind words and doing our best and Santa and I will be watching. And don't forget to write your letter. We love reading them from you. And so I want to wish you all, from all of us here at the North Pole, a very, very Merry Christmas and all good health and happy things in the new year. Merry Christmas, my dears.